Hi, I'm Steve Cook with Premier Guitar and PremierGuitar.com, and today we're doing a review demo on the Carvin PB4. PB4 is a four-string passive bass, and it was sent to us by the good folks at Carvin who have been making instruments since 1946, basically by mail order, but now they have a few stores out in California, so uh, you may have seen one of their catalogs on a uh, studio coffee table. Um, and uh, you know, this is a really well-constructed bass. So the PB4 is constructed of an alder body. It has the Carvin high mass bridge. This is a split PJ passive pickup system with controls for volume on the front pickup, volume on the bridge pickup, and a tone control. Three ply white pick guard. We have a rosewood fingerboard over a tongue oil finished maple neck. You can see that it's a four bolt design. It is also strung through the body and it has an angled matching headstock. So the PB4 is Carvin's take on a P bass, but with our model, of course, they threw in a J pickup in the bridge position, which gives it added tonal range. And uh, we'll check that in one second. Again, this is, an, this is a passive bass. And for a passive bass, it sounds really close to an active bass. They've done a great job with the tone controls and with the pickups in these, which are wound by Carvin. So let's check this out. Our single path today is the PB4 going into a Warwick CCL, which is basically used as a big DI, into the Apogee Quartet into Pro Tools. The signal going through here is not colored or EQ'd in any way. All you're hearing is the bass. So with the split P pickup rolled all the way up and the tone all the way up, you'll hear a nice big fat P tone. Okay, so I'm going to add the bridge pickup and I'm going to push the tone all the way up and you'll hear what I'm talking about in the fact that the bass sounds more like an active bass than a passive bass. So Carvin did a great job with this, uh, making a nice lightweight uh, well-engineered, well-put-together instrument with a variety of tones can be used in a lot of different situations, uh, whether you're using your fingers or a pick or your thumb. And, uh, you know, you don't have to use this jazz pick up on the back. You can just use the split P in the, uh, in the neck position, but that added tonal range uh, really helps the bass out a lot. If you want to read my review on this bass, go to premierguitar.com. And while you're there, you can also subscribe to their YouTube channel where there are hundreds and hundreds of product reviews and demos. So again, for premierguitar.com, this is Steve Cook. Thanks so much.